Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of mine and I wish you guys are keeping up with my videos on Spotify. And as I remember my last video was on how to connect Spotify with a flat file or I say how to uh, import a flat file into the Spotify and do dashboarding over there. So let's move further ahead and see how we can connect to a database with the help of Spotify. So quickly start. So guys, let's jump to the Spotfire and start doing some work. So I have my Spotfire open here and earlier as I remember, we have browsed through the local system to connect to a flat file and we have did it. We have done it already. So let's connect to a database. So I have my SQL server database uh, already established in my system. So I'll tell you how to connect to SQL server database only and you know, Everything else will be, you know, a cup of tea for you guys just because they all are similar. If you're connecting to any other database also, all you need is database connection string, password and your username. So let me find where a skill server database connection here. Okay, so it is here. Let's click on this and start with creating a new connection. Okay. So I have my connection already created. So first of all, we have to enter the server name here. So once you'll enter the server name, okay, uh, you'll, you have to select which authentication type you want. Okay. And after that, uh, you can put your username, password. If you are connecting to an SQL server authentication where authentication is provided by SQL server itself, you can select it and enter the user password given for you. Okay. My is window windows authentication. So I'm selecting this one. Then you have to click on connect and it will give you the database available into your particular instance or I say server. So this is my server and these are the database databases. Okay. So I can show you also here. So this is my instance that I've created. Okay. And there are only one database that is my DND database. Okay. So let's move forward and connect to my DND only. Okay, this is connected. So once this window will open, this is a view in connection window and you can see what all tables you have. So I have two tables. One is employee and another one is person. So let's import both of them here. Okay. And you know, here is you can make the relation and custom query. You can write another custom query if you want to change something here. So that is a later part. I'll tell you later, but if you try to do it by yourself, it's nothing that you cannot do. Okay. So I have my table here and this particular area shows your primary key and the columns that you have on the table. You can even change the data source settings from here. So we have imported our both the tables, employee table and persons table. And let's click on okay to see how this data looks into the spot file. Okay, so uh, both the tables are here. Let's see. So employee table is null. We change it to the person's table and you can see the data here. Okay. So that's how we can import the data into the spot fire using a database connection. This is not something very much, but yeah. Okay. So let me, let me show you how we can manage this connection also. So we have the option of manage data connections here. So once we'll click on this, we'll be able to manage, manage this data connection. So let's see uh, how we can do it. If you want to add a new data connection, you can go here and add a new data connection, whichever type of data connection you want. Okay. These are the data sources and then the data source, uh, the data connections that you want. Okay. You can see uh, save this data connections into the library also and somewhere else also data source will be saved library or at your, uh, they, they can be embedded into your particular DXP also. So that's it for the today and we'll meet in the next video. And as I promised, I'm going to tell you how we will connect to the web services in the next video. So we have three types of connections there. And this is the third and the last one. Okay. So we have connected to a flat file and we have connected to DB and next one is how we can connect to the web services like OData or Salesforce web, web services, etc. So thank you everyone. Bye. Let's meet in the next video.